What's up, guys? Happy Wednesday. Welcome to another day of live glass blowing here at Monkey Boy Art Studio. If you guys uh, were up last night, you got a chance to see Ben on the torch last night. I believe that video is still available if you want to check him out blowing some glass. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for joining. We're going to be making some fun, solid mini rig carb caps today. And we're doing a giveaway at the end as we do every day. Thank you again, everyone who's stopping in. If you enjoy watching us blow glass, tell your mom, tell your friends, tell your cousin's cousin, tell your grandma. All right, so for these rig carb caps, I'm gonna be using some, <clears throat> some thicker pieces of rod here because I'm actually making a pretty big uh, solid form. Wanna pick colors that look cool together. I'm trying to find one that looks good with I think those two are gonna look really cool. <clears throat> this pink is a CFL pink to white, so that'll look really awesome. Um, this blue color, I don't remember the name of it. There's like probably at least 100 different shades of blue. So remembering all the names can be really tricky. If you guys have any questions, any comments, suggestions, throw them down. I will get to those, no problem, no problemo. I'm just making the tip here nice. It was all kind of funky from another time that I used it. All right, now I'm gonna heat up this pink white and I'm gonna attach it and I'm gonna make the base this pink white color. Wanna make sure it's a really, really smooth, good connection between the pink and the blue. It's a beautiful day here in Spokane. Weather is really cooled down. It's like in the mid 70s right now. I call that perfect weather. You can see I'm just pushing up a bunch of that pink white there. It's gonna be a little bit. It takes a lot more glass than you think to make certain shapes. I'm gonna be flatten this, flattening this out into a base. So I want it to be pretty good, good size amount of glass here. Good amount there. I'm gonna melt that down and then press a base out of it. And you can make these pieces in lots of different steps. Like I could do the body part instead of the base first if I wanted. Haven't made these in a while, so I'm just kind of going based off what I remember. I might I might change it up after I make this first one and decide to do the steps in a different order. We're also, we're still working on um, uploading, being able to upload the videos to YouTube, to our YouTube channel. We're definitely gonna be able to do that. I think I just have to move the videos from my phone to my laptop because it tells me when I try and upload them from my phone, it's like, it's gonna be seven hours and I kinda need to use my phone in that time. And it won't load if I'm not on the YouTube app, so I gotta, gotta do that but once I figure that out I'll upload all the ones that we've got so far you guys can if you've missed any of these glass blowing sessions go back and watch them all right, so I'm gonna press this base a little you don't want to press too much at a time so I just kind of pressed a little tri triangular part there let let it cool let it cool then I'm gonna reheat the bottom part and I'm gonna press it again. You press it in stages, you don't wanna press it all at once, otherwise it's gonna push up into like a ring and it'll crack on you. Press a little more. it back up. Press the 
press a little more. I think I'm going to leave it like that. It's pretty good. I like that. There's the base there. Alright, now I'm going to, with that same rod, same color, connect up to that base because I'm going to do the rest of the shaping now and I'm going to, I'm going to press this flat at the end versus doing a punty. So I'm just going to make like a pretty solid connection there. Now I'm going to thicken up the can section of my rig that I'm making, a little solid mini rig cap. You guys, I'm doing a series of these that are going to be going in the monthly, we're calling them the Monkey Boy Glass Boxes. Monkey Boy Glass Box. Glass Box, all one word. So, you guys should definitely sign up. There's going to be tons of exclusive glass that is not available via auction or direct sale. You're getting a way better deal than if you're just going to get something at auction or via direct sale. And we're trying to add tons of value to it. There's going to be a special raffle just for the people who sign up for the boxes. All right, so we got that. That's like the can right now. We're going to do the neck. We could do the neck uh, same color, different color if we wanted. I'm going to go with a different color. Let's do that. Let's go with... Uh, let's go this green. We'll go with this green. Just doing one little second at a time. This rod's really, really skinny, so I have to make it thicker for the neck. But I want it to be pretty straight and look nice, so you gotta do a little section at a time. And for the neck and the mouth, again, you can do whatever shaping you want. Right now, I've got it totally straight. I think I'm gonna bend it a little bit. But uh, first, I'm gonna push a little Maria. Get the flame real small to do that. Maria there, and then we can bend the neck. See right there, we're making the rig, nice rig shape. Letting it cool like that, so that the neck stays nice and nice and bent. And then I'm gonna pull off this rod from what is gonna be the mouthpiece and flatten that out. making that nice and flat, making sure there's no ridges there. All right, so we got that guy. We got to make the little uh, joint coming off. We'll do that green also. Match. Match the mouthpiece. Keep the flame nice and small. Generally, you want the joint to come in the opposite direction of the neck. Give it balance. So, you know, make sure you pay attention to that. It can be easy to forget one thing, and all of a sudden, you're like, uh-oh. That doesn't look right. But you already attached it and messed up your whole piece down because you weren't paying attention. We 
go. Got the joint coming off there, right? Now all we gotta do is flatten out, take it off the, the rod, flatten out the other side, and ta-da! Looking for my claw grabbers. Here they are. Put those around that there, tighten it up. Melting it in, melting it in, and press it down, just like we did the mouthpiece. Turn my flame up after the bottom's heated up a little. You don't want to crack the bottom, it is really thick. Heat it up a little first. You want to make sure it stands up nice on its own. So I'll let it out of the claw grabbers onto this graphite pad. See, make sure it stands up nice. Ta da! You guys can see that. There it is. Throw that in the kiln before the graphite pad cools it down and cracks it. That'd be no good. That'd be no good. But there's one beautiful little mini rig carb cap. And of course, I forgot to turn the kiln on, so we're gonna turn that on, put it on my fiber blanket. Luckily, the fiber blanket um, keeps things warm a little bit. And while the kiln It'll probably only take like two, three minutes before it gets all the way up to five, six hundred degrees, seven hundred degrees. So, Let's see if we got any comments. All right, cool. Not too many comments. Great. Easy peasy. All right, let's go ahead and make another one of those with totally different colors. Let's go with, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna go with some of this color. This is gonna strike up really cool. We'll use that for the body part. And then for the base, we'll use this really cool purple color. Awesome, yes. So I'm going to turn my flame back up. And you can see I'm using totally, the other one I started out with like a really big thick rod and then kind of a normal rod. And this one I'm starting out with two really skinny rods. So you can start out with really any materials and turn them into any shape. That's the cool thing about glass. You can even turn, start out with solid and turn it into hollow. It's a lot of work, takes a lot of time, but you can totally do it. Uh, after this one, we'll go ahead and choose the giveaway winner for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. This one we'll do in a slightly different order too. We'll do the base last. We'll do the body and the neck and then the base at the end. getting a general shape now, making it thicker because it's so thin. I'm going to gather up some of the bottom section too because I don't want the base to connect right at the two colors. I don't want it to bend upward there. I want it to bend more on the bottom color. So 
So I'll just get a little bit of that guy going and then marble it down so it's nice and even. Show you what I mean. So I've got a little bit of the purple on there and a lot more of this color, uh, tan Silver Creek, I think. Go back to that top color, work more of that in right now. I'll do a little taller, a little bit taller on this one. There we go. I've got the body, the can, all done here. And then we're going to do the neck. So for the neck color, let's go ahead and do this really cool orange. I think orange and purple go together kind of nice sometimes. Hmm. That is not tan silver creek. That is just a really cool white color. That'll look nice too. All right, so I'm connecting up this orange and I'm going to make it a little thicker also because it's super, super thin rod. And thin glass has more possibility of breaking, so that's why you make stuff thick. But even thin glass can be incredibly, incredibly strong, so. It won't break unless you drop it or you do something to it. Definitely doesn't break on its own most of the time. Sometimes, you know, temperature can cause glass to break, but only if it was already stressed out in a spot. Okay, so I've got this other part up here. It's a little thick for the neck for me, so I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. base on this guy. So it's just gathering up more glass now. So that bottom part, which is the cool purple color. base the more stable it's going to be but also it uses a lot a lot of glass all right I think I've got enough there does it look like a rig yet no not really that's okay a lot of times when you're making glass pieces it doesn't look like what you're trying to make till the very end Heating this up, press it. And it's got this little pump to it that I don't really like. So I'm gonna use gravity to melt that downward a little bit. There we go. 
threw off the shape just a little bit, so we gotta press it out kind of careful. Actually, we'll just melt it round again at the tip. There we go. So that's the first press. A little bit uneven, but it's not where we're leaving that. Heat it up again. Press. You want to spin a little bit as you're pressing. That way you're not just pressing at one angle. If you are pressing a little bit angle, you'll get it even all the way around. letting go of it. Should be pretty good. So we gotta do the joint part now. We'll do that with this cool purple again. get it off. Kind of flame cut things easier. I can use my tungsten pick to kind of move the glass a little bit. Shape it. There we go. Gonna finish off the top. Gonna use our claw grabbers to grab the bottom. So instead of pushing the Maria, we're just gonna kind of make a little glob and then flatten the Maria with a marber. Show you that. So I just make that little ball and I'm gonna press that little ball into a Maria. Very delicately. here. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to bend this neck also. I like bent necks. So just heat up the neck. Heat it up. Let it kind of droop a little. Gravity, gravity. Be my friend. And ta-da. We have another one. All right. That's what we're doing for today. I'm gonna to be making a good number more of these for the boxes, monthly art boxes. If you're interested in signing up, just send me a message. It's really easy, uh, definitely worth it. We're also hooking people up with extra free glass for referrals. So if you sign up and then you refer like five friends, you get five extra free pieces of glass. All right, I'm gonna put these, the kiln's definitely all the way warmed up. It's at 9, 9.50 right now. So I'm gonna throw these in there. If you have any questions, leave a comment real quick. This one's pretty. I like that one. The first one came out really nice. All right, all right. Giveaway time. Only six of you guys. Nice. Winner is Maddie Sun Schultz. Madison Schultz. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I have trouble reading things. Do you ever do that? You see a word and it just, your brain picks it apart the wrong way. But yeah, Madison Schultz, you're the winner. Send a direct message on how to claim your prize. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me scroll up, see if there's any quick questions. Will you be posting these when you're finished? No, these are not available unless you sign up for a monkey boy glass box. So 
send a direct message. They start at just $25 a month, super, super cheap. If you're gonna spend $25 anyways on us in a month, you might as well sign up for this box. You're gonna get a better deal. You still get to customize it fully. So if you want a dabber or a bubble cap or a carb cap or whatever it is you want, you still get to pick out what you want. Um, it's just a really great deal. It makes it streamlined for us so that we can get more glass blowing done and still make like really cool designs um, and not have to spend as much time sending like we spend a lot a lot of time sending pictures to people who don't buy things um, if you can imagine we'll set we'll send sometimes 10 12 pictures to someone with messages back and forth and it takes us maybe an hour that we're spending on a conversation with someone that ends up going nowhere so this is um, a little bit of a way to streamline that streamline that for anyone who's interested in something that's custom but it's not um, not something that we're able to do right now, then you should sign up for the monthly art box because we're making a lot of custom stuff um, that we are gonna incorporate everyone's ideas and wishes into, but we can't do it on a singular scale, if that makes sense. So like if you want a custom item um, that is kind of specific for us to make, and we're like, no, we can't make that for you because like it costs too much for us to get the materials, um, or it's not necessarily worth our time for the price um, that you want to pay for it. We might put that in the monthly art boxes because we can make 10 of them and make it worth our time and make it worth the price, but doing just one of them sometimes really um, is super in inefficient and not cost effective for us, if you can imagine why. So that's how one of the things that is so exciting about those. Um, someone said, how long did it take for me to learn? So I'm a little bit of a natural, not to brag or anything, um, but I was able to make uh, pipes my first time on the torch. Um, some people, you know, you can't make shit your first time on the torch. So really you gotta hop on the torch, see how you adapt to it, see what you pick up, um, see if you're a natural at it. It took me, I would say a full year to get pretty decent. Um, I've been blowing glass now for three years. So that's where I'm at now. Um, yes, we do have a website. We're going to be adding the monthly boxes, the glass boxes to the website. Um, I'm working on that right now. It's coming along quite nice, if I do say so myself. And yep, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.